Now, I'm Dr. Richard O'Coyne, the president of Dr. Save a Life Foundation. I'm here to share very important news to you. You get it to your loved ones. Let's not allow what happened in Italy in the face of COVID-19 pandemic situation to repeat itself in our country. You know that very well that many people in Italy, many in Spain, all use this routinely in the name of protecting themselves against coronavirus infection. But what happened? You got to know about the tragedy. And that we will not allow to repeat itself here. Listen and listen, go. I know we have found ourselves in a very unfortunate era where social media become a source of information we receive. Anyone can say anything, anyone can write anything, anyone can post anything, and it sounds to be a news to you. But be curious to ask me why I am saying right now to you that surgical mask and the surgical glow, this latest glow, will not give you protection maximally against coronavirus infection. I know you are curious, but let me use this opportunity to let you know what this is used for. This particular uh, surgical mask is designed during surgery. A doctor can use this. Okay? A doctor can use this, number one, to protect. In the case of a splash of blood or peritoneal fluid during procedure, this could be able to protect the doctor. And once that happens, the doctor takes it out and pick up another one in the same process. All right? And continue the procedure. And secondly, it will be able to protect saliva somehow, you know, dropping in the operating surface. Right? Now, let's bring it to the subject on ground right now, which is coronavirus infection. Can this protect you from the same? The answer is no. Of course, you know that coronavirus is a microorganism. You don't see it with your eyes. But the source of infection is not airborne. Very critical to know. Coronavirus is transmitted via mucoid secretions from the saliva. Of course, your mouth is an orifice, your ear is an orifice, your eyes are an orifice, and other parts of your body, including your your body, the vagina, and all that, these are sources for which this can transmit into a woman. It is not an airborne infection. Airborne means you can get it by reason of breathing it in. The essence of asking you to do two meters social distancing is that in a situation an infected person coughs or sneezes, he will be in position there's no way he could reach two meters apart. But let's get it on you using this. What happens? Why do you have to be asked to watch your hand? Because we have an intrinsic, more or less, a new voluntary actions we do that in a day you are bound whether you like it or not, whether you want to know, you will touch your face, you will touch somewhere, you will touch. This your hands and your face, they have this kind of marital relationship why they cannot easily be separated. So what happens? When you put on this, and if incidentally you cover your mouth, you use it right now, all right? Now, having been able just to do this, over the time of usage, as some of you that use for almost a day you on the, the saliva will wet the surface, all right? No doubt about that. The saliva will wet the surface, over the time also, because of the discomfort of trying to adjust and this and order, you must. It's not something that I don't feel like touching the place. Involuntary you will. And the touching and adjusting and touching and adjusting and touching and adjusting, this becomes a transmission point through that same field. That you could be in position to contact the problem we are talking about of COVID-19. Yes, it can. Over the use of it, so because you now will become the source of infection. Do you know that at the early report of COVID-19 in Italy, in Spain, everybody went after surgical gloves and surgical masks 
to a point where doctors did not have even what to use to do operation. But did he help them? Of course you know the report today. He didn't. The reason is, on the use of this, you will infect yourself without knowing. Using your hands all the places, trying to adjust this, you can transmit through the mucus that is right there. All right. That's why doctors only use this for a given procedure. They discard and they pick another one for another given procedure, two, three hours mark. Even inside the theater, they can change this as often as possible. But yours is on the day long. Some people can use more than one day. This is a disposable material for an interim use. We can't allow what happened in Europe to repeat itself in this side of the world because of ignorance of this same thing. I know some of people that have packed it all over the house. Do not make, make yourself a victim of what has not come near you. The same thing is also applicable to the use of latex gloves. Do you know what this is called? This is called disposable, disposable gloves. Not for a daily use, not for you to use throughout the day. The same thing applicable, if I put on these gloves as a doctor, is for a given procedure, for a given individual. And once I'm done with this, I take these gloves off this way, not even touching here. I take this off this way and pull it off. All right? Then I pick another. Now for another person. Someone will say no. You know, you have to wear this for coronavirus infection. You know, so we now put on this globe across the day. What are you trying to do, my friend? You're only putting yourself on a danger list. How will it be? One is, once I'm gloved this way, now see what happened. I'm going out for the day. I feel that I'm protected. All right? Let's assume that to be so. Then I have to touch here, I have to touch here, I have to move around, I need to do all that and all that. And as the custom is, you cannot for now resist it because we have been psychologically made to be touching our face, whether we like it or not. And some people will use this and use it to adjust their glasses, use it to adjust their glasses, use it to do this, use it to that, use it to touch the face. At the end of the day, whatever this speaks on the way you are moving will be cut for you. It will. It will be cut for you. And at the end of the day, you say, no, 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 I don't know what happened. That what made Italy became a hub of coronavirus pandemic. It became a, a, a hub of corona, coronavirus pandemic. Because everyone was using gloves and transmitting it directly or indirectly to him or herself, even to the loved ones. He will just come and be just touching everything. I'm protected. My friend, you are not. It is not meant for a whole day use. It is called disposable. Disposable. That even when I'm to remove this right now, I take it off this way and I put my hand this other way to take it off. And can use another one but most importantly is to watch my hand don't just only open on sanitization try to watch your hand as often as possible that is one of the key things now let me just put it this way have i told you never to use face masks have i told you never to use gloves i didn't say so but while you are using face masks or using gloves endeavor to understand that this is disposable this is to use at a moment and off it goes but if you must use in a situation you have an infectious area for which you feel that is necessary for you to cover your nose or cover your mouth this is rather recommended i don't know the product because i know a number of products are out there the advantage of this type is that when he gives you this protection, watch this. All right? The advantage here is I may still feel like touching my nose 
or touching my mouth. But because this is here, if I touch, it doesn't have a direct contact with my mouth. And after which, I take it off. This is a more protective one if you must. Or you use this other one, relatively expensive, not for the poor man anyway. So you find what should be most advantage to you. All right? Because you get this? This will also be in position to help you, but not for you to use a surgical mask to feel that you are protected through the day. I will appeal to you, if you have anyone, return it to the hospital, let them use, because they are always in contact with this patient. They can use and dispose, use and dispose, use and dispose. This is one strong message I said. I have to get this information across our people. Share this information with every of your loved one. Tomorrow they will say, no, I'm using my face mask. One day, two days, and we've been watching it, I use again. But I want to put this across. Stay healthy, maintain social distancing, prevent whatever that will prone you to this infection, and above all, be hopeful. For very soon, this will be over.